are First is the Pawai Church Second is the historic town of Vigan In Cebu is the Fort San Pedro Cebu again is the Basilica del Santo Nino In Bicol region is the Casagua Ruins In the Philippines, Pagmamano is an honoring gesture that communicates warmth and respect. Respect for elders stems from the importance of family in Filipino culture. In Filipino courtship, the practice of harana or serenading is very common. At night, young men would sing in front of the windows of women's bedrooms in an effort to catch their attention and eventually win their approval for romantic advances. So the most traditional way to court a woman in the Philippines is to demonstrate your willingness to sacrifice, usually physically, for her and her family. Bayanihan so one of the Filipino tradition includes Bayanihan. Bayanihan is a spirit shows Filipinos concept of helping one another, especially um, during in times of need without expecting anything in return. This video shows you an example of Bayanihan where a lot of people gather together to show the operation of transferring a home into another location without expecting any returns. The Philippines is home to hundreds of folk dances. Each of these has its own history, depending on what tribe it belonged to, what region did it originate from, from what era was it made, and many more. But the best thing about folk dances is that they are all unique and can be beautifully represent the pearl of the Orient Seas like no other. So are you ready to know more about the famous folk dances in the Philippines? So here are the five major folk dances of the Philippines. First is Tinikli. Second is Cariñosa. Third is Sinkil. Fourth is Pandango sa Ilaw. And lastly, fifth is the Itik-Itik. That's the five most famous folk dances in the Philippines. 